This must be a sign of my incipient uh, Alzheimer's because for the second time in two weeks I'm talking about journalism. Maybe there was a time when newspapers mattered. Today to say that journalism is in decline is like pointing out that the elderly like me have become halt and lame. Romantics of all ages still harbor the fantasy that all newspaper people are really clones of Woodworth. Woodworth, I was going to say, Woodward and Bernstein, doggedly pursuing the ugly, unprintable truth, rendezvousing with their source in midnight parking garages, ooh, and finally forcing the president to resign in disgrace. Most of the folks I know who call themselves journalists are lazy, arrogant sods who wouldn't know veracity if they fell in a vat of it. They love to write about market vegetables, celebrities, housing prices, and the best way to enjoy a Caribbean cruise upright, I would think. Recently, I read a theater review in which the writer used the phrase very good no less than three times, and I'm telling this story for the second time in two weeks. Uh, very good, in three times in two sentences. Aside from the fact that no self-respecting writer repeats words or phrases like that, and no editor lets such malfeasance be published, aside from all that, there's the small matter of the role of the theater, dance, art, or music critic. If he or she is going to rate the actors, set designers, directors, and playwrights with childish marks like very good, why write reviews at all? Why not just make it like sports scores? You know, Steelers 38, Cowboys 29. They could say, Olivier, very good. Uh, Miss Plowright, very good. Terrence Stamp, not bad at all. Sure. Shorter, leave space for more ads for the sale of lamb chops this weekend. Network and local television newscasts are in a class by themselves now for sheer irrelevance, lack of purpose, and smiling silliness, just as I'm habituated to the morning paper and get through it very quickly so I can do the crossword puzzle, which is really what I like to do. I'm compelled to check out the first few minutes of the Supper Hour News on NBC, ABC, CBS, CBS, blah, 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 blah. You'll notice that CNN is not on my list because I gave up on them ages ago. If they continue in this fantasy that they are the new source most trusted, uh, we're going to have to call the people with white coats. Uh, when I've satisfied myself that I will learn nothing from these newscasts after a couple of minutes, I usually switch to a game show uh, or uh, my pre-dinner snacks. If I were a drinker, which I'm not, I would be pouring my second glass of gin. I loved seeing the most holy of anchormen, just when I have to tilt my head like he always did, uh, from his nightly perch after having been exposed for pretending that he was some kind of combat hero, I'm sure. This fellow was in love with himself from day one, and he was an offense to the memory of real broadcasters like Walter Cronkite. Much of this malaise has to do with the dollar. Oh, that those geniuses who teach journalism would include a course or two on marketplace realities. Doesn't matter, the student have already drifted by the millions to the internet. Pickle. The news is always a fabrication, a fiction. Intention is crucial. If you're not getting a clear picture, change the channel.